Zimbabwe's soon-to-be-open special economic zones have attracted interest from foreign investors, including a proposal to set up a medical marijuana plant in the country's second city, Bulayo. The project would enable Zimbabwe to cash in on the controversial, yet money-spinning and growing industry. The legal cannabis market was worth an estimated $7.2 billion in 2016. Medical marijuana sales are projected to grow from $4.7 billion in 2016 to $13.3 billion by 2020. That bright outlook has people here sitting up and paying attention. Zimbabwean society remains largely conservative, and so news of this potential investment has some thinking it may raise a legal and moral dilemma. I'm a drug seeker. What I know is that marijuana is a drug, and drugs are bad. We can't allow that. If people want to come and do business here, they must come and do proper business. But the revenues that could be realized have some arguing that it could be well worth the risks. What is happening in Zimbabwe, there is no jobs. So my, my best, I can say, is let's try to introduce this government to Zimbabwe, so whereby people they can, they can get employment. I think it's a good idea, um, considering um, it's, it's, going to, it's going to boost our economy, that's number one. Then number two, we're going to... Um, get about three quarters of uh, medicine that we don't get uh, in Zimbabwe. But there are concerns around control of the industry. Something like this, that's so very controversial and there's the potential to generate millions and millions of revenue. We must learn from the other experiences. The people of Zimbabwe are still smarting out of um, the alluvial diamond that went very bad. Government needs to make sure that the framework, the laws, the regulations uh, to govern this are in place before opening the floodgates. Harare, Victoria Falls and Mulawayo have been designated as special economic zones offering investors incentives including tax breaks and exemption from indigenization laws. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.